Hello everyone, and welcome back to a new episode of Unicorn Overlord. Last time we left off, we promoted a bunch of units, which is fun. And this time, I don't really know what I want to do. Um, there's stuff up here I want to progress. Um, I did want to do a little bit of the Colosseum, because I think we've leveled up a little bit for that now. So, yeah. Um, apologies if I sound uh, tilted. Angry and or like to make believe that uh, my enemies are turbo tax today when I murder them because uh, I was handling tax stuff, so Yeah, it was pretty annoying <laughs> So I might scream. Yeah, take that turbo tax when I'm putting a spear through someone uh, Two armies is one Let's see Hello everyone, and welcome back to a new episode of Unicorn Overlord. Last time we left off, we managed to promote a bunch of our units, which was pretty cool. We also upped the difficulty, so we'll see how that goes. And, uh, yeah, not totally sure what we're gonna do today. Um, let's see... This over here was level 15. You were level 14, so we'll probably do this liberation. Uh, might be a good time to go back to the Colosseum at this point as well, because we have leveled up a little bit. So, uh, let's see what we can get into. If I sound extra exasperated today or anything, um, I was just working on filing my taxes. So, if I stab someone and say, yeah, take that taxes, you know, you know why. Because it was a very annoying process. Okay. Uh... Finer weapons in all of oh yeah, they did have some pretty crazy stuff here, didn't they? They do have- they have the dove plumes. Inflicts blindness on all enemies is just... That's just wild. That's someone I would be very interested in promoting once I uh, actually get the honors to do so. Well, I have 32. I could promote, like, one more character, I think. But, uh, Selkie. Selkie would probably be a pretty interesting one to upgrade. I should probably upgrade one of my healers as well, but... Let's see how much of this we can do. So, last time we left off at level 15, so yeah, this is... We came back at basically the right point. There's two, like, level 15 battles. So, good stuff, and then yeah, it gets, like, all the way up to 40. Yeah. Alright. So, let's go ahead and hop in with the Hatchet Brothers. What exactly do they have? Ooh. That Horfrost axe is annoying. Um, but we'll see what we can do. Interesting a gladiator on the back row. That interests me greatly. Uh, whoops, I didn't mean to- I didn't mean to completely exit there. Alright, so Hatchet Brothers, let's go. Um, I feel like I could maybe just win with this team. I mean, we could always try it. Let's see. Fran will get hit quite a bit. The only problem is I feel like we need to do... Yeah, I feel like we need more damage to actually kill that, uh... That gladiator. Maybe we run, like, this squad instead. Because hmm. here we have Berenice to kind of help. Let's run Berenice's squad. Or Scarlet squad, rather. Let's see if they can do it. I'm not positive. These aren't the best classes to be dealing with, uh, this group. I mean, with everything you got. Well, Berenice is here, so I'm sure she will be doing so. But we'll see if we can just go ahead and win it right off the bat with this squad. Okay. Oh, come on. Get your attack off, please. If, if you get, if Gloucester gets his attack off, oh my god, someone's dying hard. Okay, Gloucester did not get his attack off. <laughs> the other one was faster, so... That's fine, though, because Veronese has this, I think. Holy light. That's good. That's gonna hurt. Ow! Oh my god. Okay, so now the main thing is that we need to actually be able to kill them with Berenice, and I'm not totally sure I'm gonna be able to. Yeah. Almost? 
Like, we almost made it work. Oh, yeah, wait, you don't have to totally kill them, that's right. I'm so used to the battles with the characters that are teaching you about tutorials. But yeah, that works. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, Dune Snipers? Hmm. Interesting. Um... Okay, and what are they rolling? Passive Shatter. Attack a single enemy, inflicts PP minus one. Okay. Back row, two or more enemies, single shot, flying, fireball. Oh, and you also have fire burst. That's annoying. Um, hmm. Okay. Well, let's look into beating you up. We do have Travis, but they, yeah, no, they have, they have those. That's not what we want to use. Bruno would maybe be good, considering... Hmm, the only problem is Bruno can't block for people. And that's kind of what I would want here. Let's see. I also feel like healers just aren't super useful in this particular kind of engagement. Um... Adol would be quite strong. God, you're gonna be- you're gonna be absurd. Oh yeah, and then they get an extra accessory slot, too. Extra crazy. You'll just be able to get- yeah, Armus will just be able to get some free kills at the beginning, but you're also weak to magic. We could run this. Hmm. It is the question. Let's see, maybe... Okay, you know what, here, let's- let's do this. So, I do want Miriam, because Miriam can nullify the magical damage and also negate the effect so we won't be burning. Let's get rid of you, and replace you with Alvin. And then, as far as Osh goes, I think I would want someone that could kind of... do big damage to the backline, maybe? We could just throw Lex in to help protect our squad from... from damage as well. You yeah, you also have access to Shield Bash now. Attack a single enemy and flick stun. Yeah... Let's put that, like, right there. And let's do the enemy with, uh... High stats. So highest physical attack. Let's do that. Yeah, sure. Okay. Because I realized before, if I put highest physical attack and highest magic attack, it's going to attack the one that has the highest physical and magical attack. Which is not helpful. Is this team great for this particular engagement? No, I don't think so. But I do still think they'll win. I do still think they will win. Underestimate us, and it'll be the last mistake you make. Well, how about this rolling axe right here? There we go. That was close! Good. Quick reload. That's fine. Boom. Good stuff, Albin. Yeah, I think we got this. Call me crazy, but uh, I think we're good. We even got the extra passive there. So we will be able to guard for people against the magic, which will be quite nice. Ah, uh, the miss. Yeah, eat that. <laughs> there we go, magic barrier. That's why I put you in. Okay, yeah, that was a very, very good engagement. Boom. Alrighty. Easy win. Bum, 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 bum. Ooh, I get the desert bow. I also get $2,000 reduce. Alrighty, so, uh, yeah, I don't think I'm gonna fight them yet, because, yeah, they're, they're level 16. We can, we, I'm not gonna do a ton of Colosseum battles, but as long as we take them at a steady pace, we should get there eventually, so. Uh, let's see. Probably just want to go up here to Shotzi. How you doing? Thief and Wizards. Liberation Army set out to defeat Albert and free Shotza Town from Zenoiran rule. Alright. Liberation's command post is captured. Capture the enemy command post. Okay, who do we got? Um, Dark Knights. 
Wyvern Knights, Archers, Scouts, and Mage. Okay. Hmm. Well, I mean, I feel... Dude, I do kind of want Morden in, but we need we need someone that's better at actually taking out flyers, I feel. Hmm. I could just send Yeah, so let's um let's use uh the flying unit right here. You will go fight these two right here because you're super effective against them. We will send Morden's group in there. Let's see. What level is everyone here? 15, 14, 15, 15. Okay, this this squad is kind of low level. Um, let's use this one. But I want to swap out Adel for uh, Clive, I think. Where's Clive? Clive, where are you? There you are. Um, because you have True Thrust. So I can hit someone with that. Let's uh, grab... <laughs> Oh my god, cough randomly. Let's grab that off of you, and this squad should be good enough. It's not, like, crazy optimized, but we don't really need to be here. Ah, oh, that's right. I am gonna have to run past these things. I meant to put a Morden or somebody in to help with that, but it should still be fine. It'll take a little bit longer, but... Good. Just, uh, bump into it a few times. They are prepping. Oh my god, it does take a long time. My god. Hello. You're still going to die. Bye-bye. There we go. Okay, you know, we, we definitely do need to get one of the squads. Those barricades are more annoying to take out than I thought they would be. Just, just smacking your head against them. With all haste, Hello. By. You're super, super gonna die. Blade shall strike true. Bye bye. Yeah, this is gonna be a very, very fast fight. Um, they're gonna be very annoying when they hit me in just a second. I could just fly over them, right? Can't they just like fly right past them? Like past, like. Right past the barricades, that is. Bye-bye. We just we just healed your blaze off of that attack. Uh, so yeah, can they fly over the barricades? That's kind of what I want to know. I feel like they could. They're just all running straight into me, my god. Good job, Bruno. Lifesaver? Heal self for minor HP recovery. Grants... User a buff to endure one lethal blow. Okay, so it's just like the one thing. All right, come on. Can we can we just just plow through this barricade, please? Done. No. Oh my god. Yeah, they have a lot of HP actually. All right, just go in there and fight them. It looks like we fare pretty well, all things considered. There we go. All right, now you get in there. Up here and there. A simple task. Just in case they can't finish it right here. I must stand strong. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, this is sloppy, but I'm just trying to do it real quick. We don't really need to... Even on the hardest difficulty, we really don't need to optimize too much these days. Do try I do, I do. I am interested in the idea of um, this game having like a, you know, crazy super dungeon like Palace of the Dead or something. Um, like tactics and tactics are and stuff have, that would be neat. Attack a single enemy. Grants the user plus one passive if they're defeated. Cavalier Call. It's for attacking with an active skill. Grants Cavalier allies and the user's row plus 20% attack. Well, that's fun. If you just want like a true cavalier charge. <laughs> you want a true cavalier charge, there you go. Put a bunch of cavaliers in one row. Bum, bum, bum. Yeah, we'll save. It's fine. Thank you. Appreciate you. 
All right. Honors have been obtained. I got some Vilta herbs. And a little bit more renown. <laughs> so you have the Liberation Army. We owe you our lives after what you've done for us. And while the future is still uncertain, I'm thankful we can at least catch our breath. Nobody will, uh, nobody will ever hurt you again, not while I'm here. Once I strike it rich in the Coliseum, we'll be practically drowned in gold. Our town may be freed, but we lost so much during Zenora's occupation. The world truly is a harsh place. Alright. Give me my, my stuff. What else do we have? The loot. There's mean soldiers trampled our fields, but I'll fix them up as many times as I have to. Oh. That's what being strong really looks like. Oh, oh I'm sorry. I trampled through them too. <laughs> I super trampled through them too. Uh, here you go. Enjoy your copper ore. Yay! Oh, hey, there's a heart to heart up there. I don't like, uh, how it feels taking handouts from the Liberation, but I appreciate it, really. Or rather, rapport conversation. Alright, station of guard. Here you go, Selvi. Uh, what's the armor got? Ooh, that's new. Ah! You just... Oh, interesting. You just, you just get wing rest. Recover 25% of HP at the end of battle. Ooh! Sanguine Axe. That's fun. Uh, it's kind of weak. Is the only? I mean, it's 16 damage. We'll we'll grab it. Much obliged. Okay. And then yeah, I'll get this too, just because it's kind of interesting. Yeah. Oh, but yeah. See, the black iron is is stronger. But uh, if I put that like Sanguine Axe. On, like, let's say... Where you at? Where you at, big guy? Bruno. Currently you have a Dragon Bone Axe, so you can just... Yeah... Hmm... I mean, do you really need three PP? I don't know. I, I do feel like you would be better served by having this. And then I can just set it to... Uh, let's see, attack a single enemy, recover HP, to, uh, equal to 50% of the damage dealt. Condition, can I do like if there's one enemy left? Combatant type, HP... One or fewer enemies, activates only when there are one or fewer enemies. Uh... Let's see. Or we could do this. Oh no, it's... There's not a, like, row... Only use this attack if there's only one enemy in each row. That's the other one I was looking at. Uh... We can just do if, uh... Your own HP is at, like, 25%. Then you can use that. If for some reason the bulk up doesn't serve you well enough... You can use... You can use that. So... All right, cool. Uh, what do we got over here? Hello. We are kind of cracking into this place now. There's another arbalist. Ooh, there's the Sedronite stone that I needed. Uh, you're dead. Bye-bye. Uh... You're dead. Bye-bye. Thank you. I will be able to promote someone else, so I gotta do that before we get into uh, the next fight here. Rumor has it that Prince Gilbert's come back to save us all. Times might be tough, but we just have to f hold out. He'll lift us out of this, I know he will. Okay. A lot of faith in Gilbert. Uh, anything interesting down here? It really looks like an area where there would be something interesting, doesn't it? Hmm. I hope I can still interact with, like, things on the map if my, uh... Like, not, not these things. Like, yes, obviously I can pick up with items, but it would be annoying if it was like, oh yeah, because you're mounted, you can't, like, investigate a ruin or something like that. In order to cut down any rebel I come across, and that's exactly what I plan to do. Battle for Vonsberg. 16, huh? Don't mind me, just gonna grab this. Bye-bye. 
Alright, we can get out of here now. Oh, leave me be. They survive, like, barely. Okay, so, yeah. Let's go check this out. There's also this. Cannot view this until all the surrounding areas have been stabilized. Yeah, that makes sense. And for the castle, are you? Sorry, but I think not. Battle for Kleinfield. Okay, that's level 18. So yeah, we have... We have the level 15, and then we have these two. So that is definitely the lowest level thing we can do... At the moment, I guess. Um, we are already like 20 minutes into the episode, and I'm sure that main story quest is like a very, very long one, so I'm kind of like scared... ...to hop into that at the moment. So maybe we do see what we can do up here a little bit. Maybe we'll find something a little bit... ...a little bit smaller to get into. What are you? Rebel Fool's best story belongs to us now, and you'll never have it back. Humble Cuns? 25, okay. I, I do just like kind of mapping out the... ...the area, just to kind of see, you know, like... Okay, well that recommends like level 25 and stuff, you know, just making my way around. Okay, well you're easy to kill. There's actually normal units over here, so... Rebels, huh? Good thing I hired those thieves to back me up. Riviere. 13, that's what I like to see. Okay, let's go ahead and do this one. Sets out to defeat Marwell. Good. These are just some generic fights, but obviously very, very worth doing. Oh, wow, this one's very tiny. Uh... Okay, one thing I do just want to look at really quickly as far as my units are concerned. Who's starting to get, like, really, really low level at this point? Cecilia, Virginia, Gloucester, Scarlet. So yeah, I guess I already have a lot of the people that are kind of low level in. Um... Actually, I did replace Scarlet on one of these teams, didn't I? Oh, I know, Scarlet's over here in Gloucester's unit. So, yeah, let's use... Let's see here. We do have some barricades to clear. I could kind of run through these units... Eh, it'd probably be best to use Miriam's unit for that. Hmm. And... Let's see... Might replace Lex... ...with... Because mm, there's mages there, too, which I kind of don't like. Because oh. you would be more effective at dealing with those. Um, mm. Let's put in... Let's put in Hodrick. It'll be fine. Uh... Oh, hey, Aubin didn't have anything. My god. Oh, yeah, because he just got a shield slot added. That is right. Um, I do have to customize their equipment a little bit here. Okay. I think I'm just gonna use Fran's unit and Miriam's unit here. Um, I did adjust things a little bit. Obviously, I filled Aubin out. He has a Carnelian Pendant and a Brown Beret. So, that is cool. And then for Hodrick, I actually... Filled in the rest of your stuff, you have the Citadel Guard Sabatons now, which I believe we're still on, uh, Berengaria. So, uh, alright. Let's go ahead, what would you ask of me? toss you down here, you, you can go don't. ahead and take that enemy out. Toss you to right here. You can go ahead and finish this enemy off, and you'll be able to fly over the barricades, which will make our life a lot easier. So, cool, cool. Do get hit by some magic, but that is totally fine. Let's see just how strong I can get. Yeah, that Virginia. I agree. Me. Okay, so I now that we've ready. done that, oh, I win like immediately, and obviously I want to kill the rest of the enemies. So I shall let's uh, do one of those. Yeah, this was <laughs> this was an incredibly fast one. Oh my goodness, especially now that we have these these promoted units. I, I feel really, really strong. Um, I'm sure the game 
it's probably at some point going to punish me, especially since I'm playing on the highest difficulty. But right now I do feel quite stupidly powerful. So. Hello. Oh no. Not gravity. That's annoying. Um. So yeah, unfortunately we're going at a snail's pace now. Wait, hasten call two. Increases the mobility of allied units within range. Oh, that's neat. It's just like a big zone. That's neat. Um, we'll use this. And I think Victory what I'm going awaits. to do I stand ready. is cancel your movement and just like have you move out of the thing as quickly as possible. Then go. At once. Obviously, we're still like crazy slowed. But uh, hopefully this works out. Hi. Are they going to my thing? I think they are. Oh no. <laughs> no, that's not happening, you little you little shit. I see what you were trying. It was very cute. But it's not happening. <laughs> no 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 no. No 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 no. That did you know you know points for gumption. I like your gumption, but uh no. They're like, well, we know we can't beat them, so we're just gonna outplay them. And you almost did. You almost did. Because uh, we hit, like, barely the edge of that gravity well there with uh, Miriam, and it slowed us for a second. Cool. There's another one down, and another one down. Beautiful. Alright, so... I need to get to a fort to promote again. Doesn't really matter as long as I'm just doing like these small fights, but... Pleasant perfume. Yay. Good thing you liberation folks came along. I didn't know what we were gonna do about those bandits. Country to the north, Pastorius, used to be run by a race of beast folk called the Bestrals. Tills of Noro showed up, that is. It was a quick war, and most of the Bestrals got taken as slaves. Alright. Let's turn... Oh, I need a bunch of sardines. Don't have a lot of those. I have plenty of iron ore, but... It is steel you're after. You're in the right place. Pheasant bow. Ooh. Neat. Only 13 physical attack, though. I don't have one, however, so I will get one. I like having all the uniques. Or rather, just like, interesting pieces of equipment, basically. Those what I need? There's some more sardines. What wonderful fortune! We've come across a new sigil. Now that allow me to activate its power. Is this the first one that I was supposed to find way earlier? <laughs> yeah, oh, moderate one. Level 13, huh? Uh, ooh, hi. Okay, well, I mean, I, I, I guess I can do this. Eight Selvi in her research. Defeat the Phantom Army. Okay. Capture the command post, so what exactly are we working with here? <clears throat> Hoplites, cavalry, radiant knights. A lot of cavalry, I'm noticing. And one archer. So I'm definitely going to want to send like two squads down that way. Now what could go over here? Bleh. I really don't like that, the placement of that ballista. That's kind of annoying. There's so many barricades to get through too. I could send one group here. They're just going to have to deal with the ballista. Um, so one group can run through there. And then another group can go over here. So... Let's see, who do I want though? I do have the catapult I can use as well. <clears throat> um... Let's see. You have a warrior, you also have Berenice, you also have Scarlet. So... You might not be the worst to go down here. Yeah. Um, then I may also send, like, Franz unit down here. 
as well. But then I'm gonna get somebody else who... Let's see. Travis and squad. Bruno and squad. I could level up the babies by throwing them in the catapult, but let's, uh... Instead, just get you in here. So, fire, please. I await further orders. Okay, so... If you would so kindly... Let's, uh... I want to make sure I hit the ballista. Yeah. So there we go. And also destroy the barricades. As best I can. There we go. What folly. Good. Ooh, we are getting hit by the archers from that far away. Just a second. Yeah, hit me with the healing assist, please. Thank you. Appreciate you. Victory is ours. And we get some extra XP as well. Uh, they're still working their way in. Yeah, we're gonna continue to get eaten up by those archers, but luckily they don't do too much damage. This is kind of a baby battle, currently. Okay, so how do you fare? Still pretty well. Yeah, I mean, we're quite strong. Good. Yeah. May he indeed. Um, so... Oh yeah, you have a heavy swing. We can't... We can kind of reach over there. Um, and then... I'll do what, I can. what is this? Regeneration attack call. What is attack call? Ooh, okay, that's fun. Uh, this is the group back here, I'm yeah. For that was the one I was looking for to reduce my stamina loss. Uh, definitely Understood. you go in there and take care of them. You're nothing. Bang. We'll take small amounts of damage. Yeah, we're, we're too high level at this point. Uh, we are getting very, very strong these days. Okay, this is almost recovered, so I can take out those two units for free in just a moment. I'll do what I can. Uh, you I can handle it. get in there. Oh, you're gonna take so much damage. I stand ready. But we kind of need the help here. Uh, yeah, do that. We're gonna have to rest in just a second. I do have enough Valor to redeploy really somebody else, but... Uh-oh. That's... Well, you're gonna die anyway because I'm not actually resting yet, so that's actually totally fine. Alright, cool. I have to catch my breath. Okay, you do that. We're gonna go up here and take them out. Or maybe... Yeah, let's hasten and call you. Probably want to take out the archers first, just so we take less damage. So walk over there and defeat the archers. You rest. They're going to recover to be able to use that again in just a moment. So, dead. Good stuff. You can go ahead and cap it. Let's see, if I brought somebody else in... We do have another mounted unit with Miriam. And you can actually get rid of the barricades like I would want. So you handle that. Good stuff. Go in here. It shall be done. And you fire right there. Okay, so all's well. Thank you. I'll do what I can. And then you move over there and go beat them up. Okay, so they're dead. It is far too soon to celebrate. Let me take this. So are they. Okay, so yeah, I mean, as expected, this wasn't a crazy hard one. But it does level me up a fair bit. I feel like we have so many warriors compared to other classes. Oh my god. Bye-bye. 
Okay, and you've had the opportunity to heal up as well. Yeah, I mean, I think at this point we've kind of got this. What would you ask of me? It shall be done. All right. Yeah, we just have to loop around there and win, and we definitely, definitely have the stamina to do so. Behold the valor of a knight. Bye bye. According to plan. Good. Have you need of me? Cap it. Setting off. I claim these lands for the there liberation. Go. What would you ask of me? It go out there done. and kill them. And I'm not even gonna I bother moving falter. anybody else. We can just roll right into the town there now. Glory to the liberation. Pretty simple. Uh, we don't actually quite kill them. They actually do a number on us a little bit. What would you ask of uh, whoops. That's not what I wanted. I shall not disappoint. Vitalize, damage, guard call. Let's uh, go ahead and do this. It might what help me power. win the fight. What would you ask of me? Right no, it doesn't really make a difference, but still. I shall not shy. I actually do want to see how in the world does this play out. It makes it go like this. They are kind of tanky. Like I mostly am just curious what does so much damage to us. It's got to be Yana. But we have two passive points. Well, there is also that. Yeah, no, that's what it is. Yeah, because that's that's considered magic damage, but it's not considered magic damage for the sake of uh, Miriam's block. So that's what ended up getting me there. Oh, and you blocked yourself instead of Hodrick. That's cold, Miriam. <laughs> I mean, I don't have any- I don't have any things set up to make it so you don't do that, but... There haven't been many instances where I've had, like, you know, more than one tank in, so... It does make sense. Poor Hodrick, though. So I haven't really ever needed to, uh... to fix that before. But that checks out. Alright, bye-bye. Never doubted Just completely kid. full health. Like, I'm gonna shield myself. <laughs> it's obviously just the AI doing its thing, but it's just funny to me. <laughs> Imagining from, like, a story standpoint. <laughs> Miriam just sees a magic missile hurling for- hurling towards a, uh, Hodrick that's just crouched down. And she's just like, eh. You know, I don't really feel like dealing with a headache and taking a magic missile to the face. <clears throat> Phantom Knight Spear, Dew of Strength, and Standard Military Treatises. Thank you. Fascinating. We've earned a reward for our first success in the Sigil's Trial. But given everything we know about them, I should hardly be surprised at this point. In any case, there are still more Sigils. Let me be. Hey, I'm gonna go up here and see what this is. What are you? Rebels here. After we just brought, uh, bought this place off of Noira too. This is no time to doubt ourselves. We've only one choice, and that's the fight. The battle for plane. Level 14, Griffin Knights. Sure. I mean, at this point, it seems like this episode is just going to be about taking out a lot of these, like, little generic battles real quick. In a sort of, uh, machine gun fashion. All right. So what are we dealing with? We have some... Definitely a map for some archers, I would say. So that is going to be Rolf's units. Uh, yeah, that looks fine. That looks fine. We mostly just want to avoid dealing with those archers, so... I do think I will send you in here just to take them out really quickly. Oh my. Big damage being taken by them. I'm guessing that's that, yeah. I mean, the thieves are going to kind of mess me up because, yeah, that's the problem. Travis actually isn't that effective against thieves because they... Yeah, well, they hit twice, but I don't think it procs the evade twice. So, I'm actually not sure what's causing us to get so messed up right there. Um, 
That being said, though, hi. At your service. How are you? Understood. Uh. Are trained on us. Smoke bolt. That that's fine. I wasn't planning to anyway. No mercy. Dead. As Good. Maiden's Hammer, there it is. Activates after an enemy attacks with an active skill. Counterattack a single enemy. Potency increases the less HP the user has. Maximum increase plus a hundred. That is a fun one. That is a pretty fun one. Because currently you have quick cover, so let's uh, do like a... Activate when own HP is like 50% or less. Then you'll use it for the maximum damage. They're too strong. Oh my god, what is I mean we are getting eaten up by those by those bolts up there. But my god, I really didn't expect it to be this bad. What exactly is happening here that that makes me get eaten up so much? I mean they dodge my attacks, but they don't have that many passive points. Oh, yeah, that's a sword. Yeah. I mean, we do survive. Yeah, but them killing Travis is a problem. Yeah, and then we can't hit them, because their evasion's still high, even without... You know, the evade. It's still pretty, pretty good evasion. And we're dying from the poison. That's what that's what happens. Okay. Yeah, because they they still have high evasion even without having to use that. So that's we, we just needed some more accurate characters. Just one archer alone is uh not gonna cut it. Okay. Just wanted to see exactly what was happening there. Bye bye. More level up for Miriam. And Hodrick. Uh, can I get over there in time before you fight them again? Ooh, haha! <laughs> you didn't expect that, did you, you little shit? Uh huh. Yeah, eat that. Good stuff. Okay. Mistakes are going to be made when I'm just kind of playing fast and, uh, fast and loose like this. So. But, uh, pretty simple so far. And we're making a lot of progress, uh, just like on the map in general. Okay, oh yeah, you're blocking my ranged attacks. Okay, so probably best to let Miriam's group handle you now. There we are. A toast to strength. Damn, that's a good level up. The winds of fate blow at our backs. Okay, and this is a fort, so I know I've been saying that. Oh, I'm gonna promote some units and stuff. Now I can. We're at we're at a fort. I was probably at a fort earlier, but I probably also forgot to do it then. But now I can spend all of my honors at once and get a lot of a uh, lot of promotions. You know. It'll be great. There we go. Alright, the battle for plane. Got a pressed flower. Black Talons have got Zenora backing them up, which makes them tough as all hell. Did good sending them packing. Griffin Knights excel at dealing single powerful blows to cavalry classes. Try putting a cavalry class in your unit and see what uh, I mean. Bye bye. Fine display of the Griffin Knight's strength, was it not? Set our tactics to prioritize cavalry and we'll surely be a fine use in the Liberation's efforts. Give it a try. I mean, you're always a fine use in my efforts. Got plenty of strong mercenaries waiting here at the fort. Better hire some if you want to keep winning. My hire some just because I'm going to need more guards. Like, honestly, <laughs> a lot of the time I just need more guards. But, uh, let, let's promote, because promoting is fun. So... I can promote you to a sergeant. Physical attack skills, enemy columns, 
I did mention the idea of, uh... Where are you at? Selvi. Druid. Just extra AP and passive points on you is interesting to me. Shield shooter. I do want to do at least one healer here. One healer. Let's do... I do you Sharon a fair bit. Let's, let's, let's promote Scarlet. Oh, it's 50 for Scarlet though. Scarlet's expensive. All right, let's promote you. And yeah, you got like some extra stuff I added onto your outfit. Okay, four HP, some extra magic attack and stuff. Neat. Now I would like to do, uh, where are you at? Where'd you go? Selvi, there you are. And I actually have enough to do another uh, 30 honor character as well. There you go, congrats. He got some tattoos. 8 HP, 1 magic attack, magic defense, evasion, initiative. Alright, so after that now, who's... The final one I would want to do, we could do it for 30. Gosh, how much does Yana cost? Let's do this one. I do really, really like Yana. So, let's promote. Looks like you lose your you lose your little hip sway. Yeah, now you just stand. A little closer to my former strength. You actually got more clothes from the upgrade. Now you now you have like a little uh like fur lined. I don't even know what I would call that. Kind of reminds me of like a sarong, but there you go. Enjoy. Cool. All right, more powerful units. Always good. So we took that out. That's happening over there. I can make my way over here. So yeah, see, like, we basically have liberated the territory around the capital now. We just have to deal with all of these other places out here. God, I feel like I'm going to be so overleveled when I get to that main story. We still have, like, some of Drakenhold to go, Elheim, Albion, and Bastorius. And you're telling me I'm only going to be level 40 when we get there? I'm probably going to be overleveled. All right, let's uh, continue exploring a little bit. That seems to be the name of the game this episode. So, what you doing? Uh, bye bye. So you're the rebels who wreak havoc upon these lands. In my father's honor, you won't take this town. God, yeah, there's so many of these. The liberation quest just hanging on here. <laughs> Level twelve. Oh, I got bad news for you, friend. <laughs> I have terrible news for you. We are about to roll right over you. Oh god, there's not even that many of them. Okay, I mean... Hoplites... Radiant Knights... Three Radiant Knights is kind of annoying. Uh... Hmm. <laughs> Probably gonna want to send... At the very least, you in. Once once again, I know. Wow, wow, Quasi's quasi sending in the unit full with three Griffin Riders? What a surprise, what a shock! Uh... <laughs> Next... Probably... You. Gloucester's units probably will do okay. Here, yeah. Okay. Go get in there, squad. Don't really need the healing assist at the moment. Victory is ours. Good, good. And... Let's, uh... I would like to fight that other unit if they'll come over here. I mean, I guess I don't really need the XP, but I do get more, like, honor and money and stuff if I defeat all the enemy units. In his royal name. Sanguine Arts? Activate support of attacking with an extra skill. User recovering 50% HP, or HP equal to 50% of the damage dealt. Don't stop now. I don't normally like those types of classes. 
like risk class. Not getting a unit back after battle. Negate stamina loss. Are you even like moving towards me? Like you do realize I'm about to capture your base, right? Face me and be cut down. Like that that unit's kind of just annoying to get to. How can I help? Cancel your movements. Can you just go over there and kill them? Because it's going to bother me if, you, if we don't. Hasten yourself so you can get over the mountains a little bit faster. And then we'll just finish the enemies off in a quick second. Don't you worry. There we go. <laughs> this is why flyers are so good. Oh my god. I mean, they're so good in Fire Emblem, too. It's kind of hard to nerf the ability to fly in these, in these games. It's just... So so good. I'm ready for anything. Bye bye. It's the other thing that makes these fights fast. We don't have to worry Just about like any like dialogue or anything for me to grab. So. I don't even know if increasing the difficulty is really going to have uh, changed much here. I mean, I know these particular levels are a few levels below me, but. We're, uh, we're flying here, and I'm only getting stronger. It, re it really should be that, like, at least the main story missions scale, have some sort of scaling. Thank you for liberating our town, good sir. Don't worry, the town guard will keep everyone safe from now on, I promise it. Make north east from here, and you'll reach the old border with Bestorius. I'm sure you already know this, but it's the land of Bestrals, beast folk, with fur and fangs and everything else. Every day we hear tell of a terrible plague to the south. Apparently countless have fallen in its wake. Yeah, yeah, I know about that. Okay. And then there's even more to grab from over here and stuff. Let's see what you need delivered, though. Stuff I actually have! Yay! There you go. Enjoy. Yay, fireworks! Highness, my apologies for attacking you. I had no idea you were commanding the liberation. Done a great deed supporting the people of this rural town. I thank you truly. Oh, that's interesting. That's the, um... That's the character that, uh, you know, said they were going to beat us up when we first came in here. Interesting. I Enjoy, Renault. Your Highness. Throne belongs to whomever bears the royal blood. By all rights, Prince Elaine. Cornea and her lands are deservedly yours. Um, permit me to apologize for my father's blind acceptance of Galerius' falsehoods. Interesting, getting a little bit of lore from you. Hey, you probably like finery, right? 300! You would offer such finery to me. Grateful in the utmost, your highness. There you go. New conversation available. Thanks to that as well. Okay, and then we got... Even more stuff going on up here. I'm sure I've missed, like, some things hidden in the grass and stuff around here as I've been walking around. It's just so much. Okay, yeah, so now we're up here. Another one of these to reveal. Spar Church. What are you? Centuries ago, this place served as the opulent capital of Zenora's mighty empire. I had to guess I'd say its halls still conceal echoes of their former wealth. Let's see here. Ooh! Just a free lapis pendant. <laughs> I mean, not the craziest thing to get at this point. Because they have about a billion of those things, but... This is clearly the side of a big battle. Hi. Mm hmm What do you want? Bye-bye. Uh, ooh, you're blocking, uh, a way into this, actually. Hi. Right. Hallowed Cornash. Still haven't really had to use those. Can I search this tower? I feel like this is one of those towers Lex climbs. No. Yeah, it's very hit or miss on sometimes when I know if I can, like, actually examine a ruin or not. Sometimes it is very, very hard to tell. You completely missed, friend. Nice nice charge, but you totally missed. Okay, this might be one Lex can examine. No? 
Well, there's a shiny back here. At least I'm getting a lot of resources just kind of running around like so. You're telling me I can't interact with this? It looks so cool. Oh. Such a cool piece of geometry. Crazy chimera. Alright, and now we've made our way back over here. Cool, cool. Now, I wonder what exactly is going on at this particular stop. Because this will open up the final dock for me. I'm gonna take the harbor, huh? Well, too bad, I'm gonna burn it to the ground. Battle for Fontiel. Level 12. We could wipe that out real quick. Uh, I do just want to grab some things real fast. Ah, there's one of the thingies I need. And a stone circle. Yeah, perfect circle. And then there's that. Yeah, we still need to do that. Um, I still need to get to the Minotaur carving. But now we have the mermaid, the griffin, and the unicorn. So if I can just get access to the Minotaur, which might be possible, uh, we'll be able to finish some stuff off. Hi. Bye. Oh, you lived. Oh, because I'm using ranged units. Yeah, that, that would be why. They're gonna block my attacks. More Divine Shard. Okay. Yeah, we're definitely hitting that point of the game where, like, I'm not even as excited about getting some of the pickups and stuff as I once was because we're just so strong. So strong. The Battle for Fontiel. Operation command post is captured. Captured the enemy command post. Wow, that is it, huh? It's just right there. Uh, once again, I, th I, I, just, I just think the fastest way to clear a lot of this out is just going to be to use them. They're already level 16, though. Gloucester's unit will probably use. We'll probably use you. Miriam's unit's kind of overleveled. I feel like this group definitely the needs the, Do you need the experience. Yeah, see, they can't even finish that group alone. Understood. Uh, but for the units over here... Nowhere is too far. I think I just want to send you just because it'll be faster. I stand ready. Uh, let's have you take Understood. them out first, though. Oh, hey, cheeky little hidden unit. Target. Oh, God, the stupid assists. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't even. I mean, I didn't even know when I was walking in here that those mages were even in the forest. We'll nearly kill them. We just get super, super messed up in the engagement. There has to be a way, right? Uh. So now that we know they exist, you send you in Setting to help up. out here a little. They're also down. going to be taking a lot of damage. Yeah, those uh, those assists are pretty bad. But if I needed to use Liza, or I would just put Liza in here. Back. Like, if this was a different battle, I would just toss Liza in. And we could just uh, plow through it that way. But at this point, these fights, like... Really, the only way I could make them, like... Actually difficult would be to use like severely underleveled generic enemies or er, allies, and like at that point, you know, what's what's the point? If that's what I need to do to get the uh, the difficulty where I want it, go away. I mean, we do lose some units there, but they sh cannot take that out. Okay, well now I'm just- I've just been doing this for a minute, so I'm just playing stupid. <laughs> Which is, uh, definitely a consequence of this. But, Miriam should be able to wrap it up. And if Miriam can't, then I can just send someone else in. Let's see... Gloucester's unit, I said, needed some, uh... Some XP, so... Go get in there. I shall not shy from yep. battle. Dun dun. Glory to the okay. Liberation. That is done. I mean, it, it would feel bad to, like... <clears throat> Let me take to, like, not show these battles 
on screen. I, I feel like they would be more difficult, you know, if I wasn't so overleveled, obviously, but they're never too difficult. But it feels bad not showing them at all. You know? Like, if I just did, like, the main story and side quest ones, but... I suppose it's something I could do, you know? Just start cutting these out. People can let me know, because we just had an entire episode of just doing these, and there's probably gonna be a lot of these. Because we really, we really just get, like, a little cheeky little bit of dialogue. The only problem is we would miss out, like, you know, people would miss out on, um, like, who leveled up and, you know, things like that. Obviously, I would show that stuff, like, you know, say one of my characters got, like, a new skill or leveled up. I would show that, but I would just trim out the actual fighting to make it a little bit faster, I guess. Because, yeah, it's getting a little bit absurd just how many of them there are. So, I don't know. It's it's something to think about. Like I said, I would show... It would basically just be like I would give the minutes of these fights. Just, like, start it. Be like, this is the squad I'm gonna use. And then, you know, if we, like, have level ups and stuff, show those. If anything interesting happens, show it. And this would specifically just be for the liberation quests. Um... Everything else I would probably end up showing, but these are usually just like put your two favorite units in and just plow through the enemies until you're done So Passive miracle activates after receiving an allies passive skill Restore minor HP and grant one PP to an ally Interesting so after you get someone else's passive you use that Interesting <clears throat> I did. Boom. I mean, I will say one thing. We did, <laughs> we got a boatload of honors from this episode. My god. Um, I do think just because I know I'll probably forget next time, just to kind of complete my thought here. Zagavona wine. Cool. The town is free, and it's all thanks to your army. What would we have ever done without you? By the way, you can catch a boat from here to a secluded shore. Thank you. Up until a few years ago, the harbor was used to transport bestial slaves, not our finest hour. Okay, deliveries. There's the stone. And the timber. Enjoy. Now I can take the boat. This town was well and truly headed toward destruction. I fear what would have transpired without your aid. Can't thank you enough. Oop. And station Magellan. What's the armor it's got? Ooh, more place. citadel guards. Uh, citadel guards, sabatons. Done and done. Those are quite good. This thing is like interesting, but it'll it'll probably be more interesting now as we uh, <coughs> start to have some units with more passive points, but. Yeah, Let's go sure. ahead and travel. Bye-bye. So long, farewell. So just three divine shards, that would be very- well, two. And a do of strength. Oh. But clearly we get like a boat or something at some point that would allow me to go a little bit further, but I can't at the moment. Oh, oh yeah, this was where the treasure map was too. I was, I had that in the back of my head. I was like, wait a minute. I'm pretty sure there was a treasure map that took us here. So that's one of them. Miracle Fruit, Lapis Pendant. God, at this point, I don't even know if I'm ever going to be using these like defense boosting items and stuff. We do have quite a few uh, like dues of strength and keenness and stuff. Uh, strength. I do really, really like Aubin. Especially now that Aubin's been, uh... Upgraded a little bit. Berenice is already absurd. Let's give one to Fran. And one to Aubin. And then Keenness is crit rate. For that... I feel like it makes the most sense on, like, Rolf or something. I could also give it to Aubin again, though. 
I have the Berenice. I definitely have my characters I, uh... I like the most, as you can probably tell. Uh, so... I don't have any other dues. That's what I was kind of looking for. Doesn't look like I do. Yeah, okay, we're good. But yeah, I got look at how many of these things I have. And then I have all these Miracle Fruit that just increases the target's level by one. Like I said, those things might come into play, like... This feels like the type of game that would have a post-game, basically. So maybe that's when they come into play. And then, yeah, I can look at those treasure maps to see where else they are. One, two, four, five, we've done. So it's really just... Three. Ah, uh, which is in the area I can't get access to. Okay. Well. We didn't do a lot of main story stuff this episode, but I would still say we got a pretty crazy amount of actual content done there, so... Yeah! Hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for some more.